in my opinion, these could well be the most desired golf clubs of 2023. For one good reason. Most people will want to play these golf clubs and a lot of people will be able to play these golf clubs. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, that's right, I have a set of irons which I've been desperate to try and I know a lot of you guys at home will be desperate to try. You see, we all want to play the best looking irons, the best feeling irons, the irons that make us feel a little bit warm and fuzzy inside. For me, that's exactly what Cobra have done this year with the new King Range of MB and CB irons. And get ready for this, they're a little bit like Burger King. You have it your way. Never thought I'd compare a set of golf clubs to a fast food restaurant, but anyway, let's see what this five-step forging process feels like. These should feel incredibly soft. Yeah, that was wonderful. You see, for me, Cobra have smashed it this year with the Aerojet line of drives and woods. I'm not a fan of the name, I don't really like the colour scheme, but they perform pretty well and they feel fantastic. And this is a discussion that I'm having a lot on my channel at the moment, on my Instagram and on my Twitter. How important is it how a golf club feels, how it sounds and how it looks? And you see what Cobra have done here is introduce a new step in the forging process to make the irons feel that little bit softer, to make them feel that little bit better. And you see what I have today is part of what Cobra call their flow combo set. So that means more forgiveness in the longer irons and more precision in those shorter irons. But really we all know that it means you look like an absolute baller in the short end of the bag with the pitching wedge 9 iron, 8 iron and 7 iron. They come in the MB whereas the 6 iron to 4 iron come in that CB head and for me that's something which I think a lot of golfers do want. I'm surprised more brands don't do this. Like looking down at this MB9 iron, a lovely blade length, it's got a lovely thin top line and there's next to little offset on here. Whereas in the CB irons, you'll see that there's a little bit more kind of perimeter weight in there, a little bit more offset and a slightly thicker top line whilst keeping that lovely kind of sleek look. I think a lot of people may well be using these come 2023 if they go and get fitted and see exactly what set makeup would suit them. You can get all these clubs in MB, all of them in CB, or if I, if I was kind of buying these, I would try and go and get them properly specced up to how I want to play them. How close can we get here? A little knockdown nine. Oh, that felt so good. Be close, be close. Oh, <laughs> yes. Now, I have been in the simulator room here at Woolley Park Golf Club to test these clubs for numbers. So if you're expecting kind of big, long carries, huge distant gains and really impressive ball speeds, they're probably not the irons for you. But if you want consistency, stay tuned and see. I really, really enjoyed that one. Yes, please. So you may have heard me mention at the start of this video about the five step forging process Cobra put these irons through. And the fifth and final step sees each iron head subject to 2000 tons of pressure at 700 degrees Celsius to form a uniform and isotropic internal grain structure. And once cooled, the club heads are then polished and prepped and the face is grooved to be precision milled to enhance that feel. Now, do they feel, I'm not gonna lie, I had to read that because um, yeah, it's not something I'm gonna be able to memorize, but do they feel, are they the best softest irons ever? No, I really don't think they are. For me, they're not as soft as, say, a set of Mizunos, they're not as soft as, they're probably as soft as everything else, but they're not, they don't feel quite as good as a set of Mizunos, and that does pay me to say it, because I love this concept of the kind of combo set. Oh, nearly got you. Let's see if we can roll this in for birdie. Ah, with the first hole using these Cobra irons. Turn, 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 oh. Oh. And you see, the big thing for me here is that consistency level, especially when I jumped in the simulator room, which I'm going to show you in just a few short moments' time. And not only the consistency, but also the workability of these clubs. I've got the five iron here. This is the CB head. Looking down at it, you will see it just looks, for me, exactly how I would want a player's iron to look. It's not too scary. It's not too thin. The blade length isn't too short, but it still looks a little bit classy. It still looks a little bit traditional and I suppose that's what a lot of better players are wanting look at those kind of curves love that and I also love that Cobra aren't claiming to have reinvented the wheel here as well right how versatile are they let's try and play a little draw then a little fade off this tee draw first yeah 
exactly what I want. Start right off target, finish. I'm not gonna lie, that's a little bit left of where I wanted it, but it drew nicely. What about a fade now? Can we hit the same? The key here for me is I'm gonna hit the same distance whilst hitting these two shots, ideally. Then you know you can kind of play around with them a bit. Again, not the softest of iron I've ever played, definitely not. Oh yeah. I think they're gonna be right next to each other, you know. That was very enjoyable. I suppose that could be the key word of this video so far, enjoyable. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, that is snow. Bring on Orlando next week. Hopefully there'll be no snow there, fingers crossed. And this is exactly what I wanted to see. I've left them both a little bit left, but both bang next to each other, even with those two totally different ball flights. That's me, really what makes a good player's iron here. You can work them, you can play them, while still getting a good bit of distance. Right, 150 yards, the wind is slightly off the left. I'm gonna go seven iron. I'm gonna try and just play a little knockdown shot, although I do need to still get it over these trees. That flag isn't a flag we're gonna go for. And interestingly, if you go for the flow combo set, the seven iron is the longest blade iron that you will receive. And again, it looks exactly how you'd want a standard blade iron to look. Beautiful, big fade, use the wind, should stop on a dime anyway. Little 145 shot. Come on. Oh, it's just stayed out there. It's exactly the right distance. Didn't get enough fade on it. So what does this do for Cobra in the iron market? Because we all know the Aerojet is going to be the all singing, all dancing kind of distance iron, which I'm yet to test actually, and I'm quite looking forward to doing so. But for me, Cobra have made good players irons for a long time. They've almost just been ignored a little bit. So will people start to maybe Ditch, Titleist, TaylorMade, Callaway, Mizuno, and look at Cobrians. Or will it just be a case of, unfortunately, the good, but not quite good enough yet. Exactly flag high. Unfortunately, nowhere near enough fade on that one. And this certainly isn't where you want to miss looking at where that flag is. I've had a nightmare there. I'll get that mud off the ball. This is where people are like, oh, you're using blades, are you? Nice one. Try not to make double. Go, 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 go! Can't blame the irons. I kind of say this is a very strange day weather-wise because it's not even cold, but that is snow. Oh. And now, although I have openly said these aren't the softest irons I've ever used, one thing I will say about them, both outside and inside, is I've really enjoyed hitting them. Again, that word enjoyment is a huge factor for me when testing golf clubs, when buying golf clubs, and to be honest, when talking all things golf. I can't help but feel sometimes people uh, miss that memo. So what does all this really mean? Because now Cobra have so many different irons on the market, for me, they may have almost made a little bit of a grave error, which Ping made quite a few years ago, of just having too much to offer people. You see, Cobra also have the Cobra King Tour, which look absolutely phenomenal, and most players would probably get on a lot better with as a full set, four iron through to pitching wedge. We also have the Forge Tech, we have the Forge Tech X, we have the Forge Tech Utility. This is a lot of irons for people to decipher what to use. Right, we've got the seven iron here, 165 yards out. This should be about the right club. Guys, before I hit these shots, let's jump in the studio, let's see exactly what they were like for numbers, and then we'll see how close we can get with our three golf balls. So when testing these golf clubs inside, I wanted to give myself a little bit more of a challenge than just hitting down a range. So I chose the 16th hole here at the farms, which I actually got to play a couple of weeks ago. You'll see we started with the five iron and that first shot was pretty much bang on line. And I really, really enjoyed it. For me, the forgiveness factor of the five iron, again, you can see another one on line there. The forgiveness factor was quite good. It didn't feel like the softest iron that you're ever gonna hit, but I don't think that's really too important because I think a lot of people, especially from feedback that I've had from other videos, are thinking, actually, James, it's more based on performance than just feel. Then move down to the seven iron, you can see this started off frighteningly well, actually. But when I moved into the blade, it actually did feel a little bit softer. It felt a little bit nicer, more maybe what I would enjoy. Again, I'm talking feel here. The big thing I enjoyed about that shot and this one, I think, is that they went a little bit left and they were a little bit toey. They still went the distance, they didn't go in the water, which would be 
an absolute nightmare. Then going down to the 99, the 99 felt lovely. It didn't go that far, kind of 145-ish for a 99 for me. I would like to see a kind of 150 average, but speaking of averages, let's see exactly what numbers we did get with these new Cobra clubs. You can see that was a miss hit and that one pitched at 130. So respectively, I think all those drums are pretty good. A 5-iron that carries 190, 7-iron that carries 168. For me, 165, 168 is pretty good. The big thing for me here is those average kind of deviations. You'll see just 2, 3, and 4. So not a lot of kind of deviation there. So quite consistent. And I quite like the spin numbers as well. A 5-iron that's spinning pretty much at 5,000. 7-iron spinning pretty much at 6,000. And a 9-iron spinning at kind of 7.5, but with a few kind of really, really bad strikes in there but still having quite a bit of consistency. So pretty good shots there all around. And for me, it's important that I tell you, I felt like I've been swinging really well this week today when I've been testing these clubs. And that certainly helps. I don't feel like those numbers would be as consistent most of the time. Right, seven iron, all over it. That's a lovely low boring flight and it's bang on line, short. This is what worries me. Not just with these clubs, but worries me with blades. I mean, don't get me wrong, that felt fine, but it's a good five or 10 yard short. And they're also way more forgiving than the Ricky Fowler irons that I have been using. Maybe I need to get this a little bit higher and ride the wind. Like that. That's staying, stay in line. Not sure, that one looked to have the distance. One more. Oh, that was skinny. That was skinny. Ow. You know what though, that's got up there. So for a combo set of irons that ticks almost every box, what are my honest thoughts about these clubs? Well, you see for me, it definitely has opened up the market a little bit for anyone who is a massive Cobra fan and wants to play a more player style iron. But, I just think the Forge Tech are so good. I think the new King Tor looks phenomenal. I can't wait to test that. And if I'm a bit confused, I imagine you guys might be as well. So guys, get in the comments below, let me know what Cobra irons would you choose to play this year, if any. And apart from that, I'm going to see you all exactly the same time tomorrow. Hoi!